Josh is Frogs, and I work in customer service here at our warehouse. Very often I get questions about how to use your springtails, what to do with the springtails after you get them, and just in general kind of what you're doing with them. They're a definite important part of your actual colony and what you're doing with your actual tank. When you open it, there should be a little, little dandruff hopping around in there for you, basically. Um, some of them will have a mold layer, some of them don't. If you don't see anything, make sure to take the lid off, give it a little bit of air, and then let it set for a little bit. And if you still haven't seen anything, contact, contact us at customer service. The other thing we like to recommend is the Springtail Food, Spring to Life as a well, just because it is super awesome. This is how I use Springtails at home, exactly. Um, we yesterday rebuilt this tank for our yellow vents for the customer service office that I talk about so often with so many customers because they had a basic jungle in there. We couldn't see them, but now we can see all of them all the time. We put isopods in here yesterday, but I wanted to save putting the springtails in so that we could actually show customers what I personally do with them because I have a lot of tanks at home. What I do is I make sure that there's some water in the bottom of the culture, that the culture is booming and doing very well. And then I will take the lid off and I flip it over and I create a half moon space between the actual lid and the culture rim because then you're going to keep the charcoal in but not the water and the springtails. So I always just open up the tank, watch any of your inhabitants that are in there. These guys are pretty, pretty chill so I'm not too worried about them. And then you just pour the water out and I usually pour a lot more but you can see already that there are springtails running around in there and they will eat all kinds of the organic matter that's going on on the manzanita branches um, once the cork bark really gets in there and starts settling in they'll work on chomping through some of that as well they keep your tank nice and clean and deal with any mold blooms or anything like that that you're going to see in there so that is definitely um, one of the best ways to use them. And then some people prefer to dump the whole culture in when they're creating their actual terrarium and just using it that way. You just dump the whole culture in, let everything go. I prefer, since I have so many tanks, to keep a culture. I actually have four at home. And then I will take, after I've dumped it out, I'll refill it a little bit with water. And then I'll take the springtail food that we have. And you just shake some on top. I give it a pretty good little powdering in there just so that you can get a nice bloom going. And it'll actually turn like this gray brown color. And if it's really damp there, you'll be able to see the areas that the springtails have been chomping through and stuff like that um, when you open it the next time. And then put the lids back on both your things, put it back on your shelf, set it, Forget it, let it go, and if you have any questions about them, give us a holler at 1-800-691-8178 or shoot us an email to info at joshesfrogs.com. Thanks, have a great day.